story time story time so i got a call or rather a whatsapp chat a few months ago from a guy who i know from my neighborhood okay or rather my parents neighborhood now and he asked me a question and said um i need your help right what i need is that i have three women actually when i dug in it became four four women in my case like you know he kind of asked them out wanted to be friends but they kind of stuck you know how like you are still trying to be friendly nice guy and all that and then any of the women who you interact with i don't know how far he went with them okay of course i didn't ask him all of that part but he felt he he was talking to me about the fact that all of these women don't want to leave him alone and he can't seem to decide which of them he should probably date probably have a long-term relationship with that will finally lead to marriage and this was him here ready for marriage but not sure any of them meets his longing and yet can't get them off his back haha <laughs> hot guy things <laughs> alpha male thing but it has nothing to do with the alpha male though but you know what i mean and i gave him a couple of advices of course and then that gave me the inclination that you might be watching me and you have ladies you feel like you're in love you're the absolute gentleman right the ladies love you you're doing your best but the truth is you're wondering which of these girls which of these women should i date which of these women is wife material for me I don't want to make a mistake um, I also don't want to break anybody's heart right so if that is you this video is for you don't go anywhere because I'm going to give you the seven points right away welcome to my channel welcome to my channel please subscribe right now so if today is your first time my name is Chisum and I'm your quintessential men employment blogger and I reside in Uyo in Nigeria and here we make everything unveiling women to the men who love them easy okay all right so number one thing that will help you know a woman who genuinely i mean a lot of women should love you like you know they should love you but now not all the love should be romantic not all the romantic love vibes should be accepted by you if not you're going to have chaos in your relationship and you don't want that you're going to have a lot of issues you don't want baby mama dramas and all of that so i'm sure that's not you so if you're one person who wants to avoid all of the dramas you want to be live a happy life you want to find the person not be confused not end up in regret right number one way you're going to know a woman who genuinely love you for you love you you know without reservations love you for real she's going to be a woman who prays for you and even more that she pays for herself now this part particular one she may not even let you know right so you're not going to know except she says it or you guys come up with you know discussions around that genuinely she's going to pray for you almost every day of her life want things to go well for you she wants things to be she wants you to be happy right she's going to genuinely pray for you even more that she prays for herself she's just going to find out that even though I pray for myself, I'm praying for this man even more. And for ladies who are already watching this, they are smiling and they know how this goes. Okay? It's a thing. Trust me, it is a thing. Right? Number two way you're going to know a woman who genuinely, genuinely loves you. She's going to seek for things that you love. And she's going to let you know. So whether there are opportunities, vacancies, books that are interesting, movies, you know, contract opportunities whatever she's going to seek them out and she's going to let you know so she's not going to just find an opportunity that you probably are interested in and will let you know no that's not the woman who loves you trust me and you know the thing is that i know from experience how that most men who enjoy this and are also not genuine with with their intentions right so they know this woman is all down for them and then they take it as a stepping stone to just do anyhow that shouldn't be you okay so when a woman genuinely loves you she will look seek out for things that you love and she will let you know about them. she will want you to go after them she wants you to add them up she wants you to you know she wants you to gain them she wants you to if they are awards she wants you to win them if they are contracts she wants you to win them okay so yeah that's one way okay number three if you want to know a woman who genuinely loves you trust me trust me she's going to 
act like your mother not literally your mother i you know what i mean she's going to be nurturing she's going to be motherly she's going to be she's going to ask you those kind of questions that your mom will you know it's your mom that asks you those kind of questions and some people some guys find it a bit offensive like you know why is she why trying to be my mother but she's not trying to be your mother she's just being real her maternal instincts have just kicked in because this thing this man she has met she wants him for keeps and he's going to be for keeps she wants Wants long life for you she wants success she wants to make sure nobody's doping you she wants to make sure you're safe she wants to make sure that you're eating well you know what I mean so she's gonna be motherly around you if she doesn't care <laughs> excuse me she might not genuinely love you number four four is almost like a like line number three she's going to pay attention to the mundane things things like oh what are you wearing for this event uh, have you ironed them you know have you eaten you know are you you know she's gonna go out there to care about the little things she's gonna care about you know your color being up she's gonna just not just care about them. she's gonna fix them she's gonna make sure that you're looking prim and proper for instance she's gonna call you up to know whether you're okay she's gonna know what the news from home is if you're feeling down she's gonna be there for you name it right these things are just normal they are genuine they are real if she doesn't care and only cares about herself think again you don't want to get into the trap of men who are presently suffering and smiling in their relationship in their marriages that's even the worst okay number number five right now if she genuinely loves you she's gonna make sacrifices for you she's going to make she's gonna let some things go just to be with you if you're asking her out on a date, even if she has planned that day, I'm going to do laundry, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to go grocery shopping, she's going to suspend all of that without even telling you about them, just to make sure that she meets up with your date, she's there for you. If, she, if you need her to travel with you, she's going to give up so many other things to make sure she's conveniently going to go with you, right? If as much as she can. I'm not saying she's going to leave her job and all of those things that are a bit, you know, or, uh, risky or unhealthy, right? It's not obsession. She just will make healthy sacrifices for you, right? So if she's always not in the mood, in doesn't have the time for your for your date, she doesn't have time to be with you. You're always the one running after her. Think again. Pay attention. She's telling you something. Pick it and please go for the woman who genuinely will sacrifice for you. Number six. Yeah she's going to find out about you she's going to ask you questions she wants to know more about you like um you know she's going to you know find out so much more about you that you haven't even told her so she's going to expect that you, you are open with her and let her know the things that that bug her or things that she really wants to know so number six is that she's going to find out and um, ask questions about you and she's gonna not just from anybody this time around she's gonna ask you she's gonna ask you questions about your upbringing growing up career people around you your friends and she's also, also gonna let you know you know her reservation about certain things that you do or where you go or who is around you and please you have to take them with open-mindedness as long as she's mentally okay you know you should be able to also listen to what she has to say okay from this beginning yeah that's genuine love that's genuine concern right yeah right right so uh the seventh point she's gonna cry a lot around you <laughs> i wish this is not true but it's true she's gonna cry a lot when she feels not down she just will be her emotions will be all over the place right because she genuinely loves you she's if you don't see her point of view about something it might make her feel down she might cry she might you know suck a bit she might be withdrawn a bit she will want to seek your attention or rather she wants more wants you to pay more attention to her at every point and that's because she at this point can't handle the spikes in her in her emotion and that comes genuinely she's just trying to be herself and be vulnerable so don't take it like you know it's blackmail or one of those things except you find out that it is then you know what to do next okay so she's gonna me cry a lot in your presence and that's okay okay because that might be her outlet of 
overwhelming love, overwhelming affection that she's getting or she's giving. You know, it might just be her way of expressing her emotions, right? So some things she can't put into words about how grateful she is to meet you or how thankful she is for loving her. She's going to put them in tears. It is what it is, guys. So with this seven point, I'm sure you can begin to put one or two together about knowing the woman who genuinely loves you for you and not, and not by anything uh, out there, okay? So, and I hope you know that nothing is weird, too weird about you. There's somebody who loves you. There are people who love you exactly how you are. So you don't have to change yourself to make anybody um, happy, right? All you need is to improve yourself, versions of yourself as you read books, as you watch movies, as you meet people, as you, as you grow in life, you begin to advance in your belief system and the things that you love, okay? And those are the things that will make you improve on who you are, not because you want to do it for someone or pretending to be what you're not. So with these six, seven tips, I hope I've been able to help you. And until you come your way again, you know what to do. Like this video so others can find it as well. Then drop a comment about any questions you may have or any scenario that has played out already that you want to share with me. And if you want to reach out to my email, go ahead and write chisomotivayaka at gmail.com on the screen and let me know what you think um, next. Until I come your way again, be fantastic and be in love. Make sure you find the woman who genuinely loves you for you. Okay, bye.